Hello everyone, welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Today I'll be starting a brand new playthrough of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition with a ton of mods. Now, um, what mods did I use, you may be asking yourself. Well, I used a mod guide and or mod collection by Synthetic Syndicate. I'll just call him Synth. Uh, Synth made a really comprehensive guide of how to use the um, Mass Effect mod manager and has basically a full set of mod lists for each Mass Effect game. So instead of taking over two weeks to get this together, it only took me a little less than a week. So I used most but not all of the mods that uh, he and or she suggests here, and I did use Reshade, and I used Mass Effect Color Reshade overall, and um, it's pretty good, although it's adjusted for 4K, so you'll probably have to knock it down from there, but without further ado, let's get into the video. And uh, I will be using a combination of gamepad and mouse and keyboard for this. Uh, so we'll just start a brand new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Yep, new ID. I'm not going to go with the pre-made. Uh, we're going to be playing as uh, Femship. Please log in to access your profile. But I have to use the mouse and keyboard for this one. Okay. Give me a second. What's a good name? Kelly, why not? Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Ooh. I forgot about these ones. Uh, colonist, born on Minduar. Interesting. Spacer. Spent your life, your childhood, on ships and stations. We'll go with Earthborn. Confirm psychological profile. Oh, and you know I'm going for full on renegade. If I remember correctly, war hero, high uh, paragon. Ruthless is high. Uh, Renegade and Soul Survivor is a mix, so we're going to go Confirm Ruthless. Ooh. Oh, and did I say I'm going to be playing this game on Insanity? So, as soon as I have control of Shepard, <laughs> this is going to be painful. Not going to lie. Now, which one would be actually be good? Specialize in pistols or sniper rifles can wear medium medium armor. Hmm. I actually didn't put too much thought into what I wanted to go with. If I remember correctly, I went with Engineer for my first ever playthrough. And then Sentinel. So I've not done Adept, Infiltrator, Soldier, or Vanguard. So... Why not? Confirm facial identification. And uh, give me a minute, I'm going to make... The character look way different. Okay. So here is the Shepard. I'm probably going to be taking through all of the Mass Effect games. So. Profile reconstruction complete. So Kelly Shepard, Earthborn, Ruthless, Adept. Yep. 
Identification confirmed. And we're going to be playing this on Insanity. Yep, so expect um, saves coming. Just going to leave that there. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family. Doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for herself. She got most of her unit killed on Torfin. She gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Great. You pissed the captain off and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. We are in this now. What do I have access to? Well, you'll also see that uh, Shepard isn't packed up with weapons that she can't use. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust Arturian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. 
But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Just follow the orders you're given. Understood, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The Captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up and we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the Captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. What you did on Torfin, that's what they're looking for. Success at any cost, ruthless efficiency, show no mercy. Sounds like my kind of job. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. How do you control agents with unlimited... The Spectre's The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? The Captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, by the way, the uh, shadows are breaking. Yeah, that can happen. 
Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Since when do we answer to the Spectres? You're smart enough to know how things work, Commander. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I was impressed when I studied the reports from Torfin. A grim business, but you got the job done. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I don't like people making decisions about my future. This isn't about you, Shepard. Humanity needs this. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. 
Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold of 38.5 mm -hmm. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Okay, we have our mission from Keith David, I mean Anderson. And now, uh, Toggle. I can't toggle Jenkins' helmet off. Hmm. Um, yeah, I want to get points into Charm and Intimidate immediately. Oh, and uh, I'm sure someone would notice, or would have noticed by now. Um, yeah, I have the Advanced Models mod on. And, um, yeah, it just makes it consistent, or more consistent, I should say, with Mass Effect 2 and 3. So now we don't have these really awkward models that don't exist, or weird models that have awkward angles and whatnot. Uh, what did I want to do? I have to bring in this. There we go map and that is RB right Damn. oh yeah don't stand next to them when the shooting starts oh and the diversification mod at hand right here yeah it adds more let's just say scenes and they kind of seem like this throughout the game oh god what happened this place got hit hard commander hostiles everywhere 
guard up. Mm hmm. Leroy is dead. Wait, does he actually still show up here? No. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Leave him. We need to finish the mission. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yep. Yeah, this is going to get a lot harder. Oh, let me verify real quick. Uh, gameplay. We are on insanity. And my game broke. My my UI broke a bit, but we'll verify. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Oh wow, they ripped through Caden's shield. Okay. Yep, those are definitely enemies. Just taken about one or two shots to finish off each each one. And Caden, for some reason, was just like, let me run out into the open. Thankfully, there's one metagel. And I realize I should have used one, then picked that up. Ooh, cutscene. I hit the other one first. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was going to make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one who charged your ma'am? I need a status report, now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out! Oh, and uh, don't mind the fact that Shepard's holding an invisible gun. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Ooh, first armor. A scorpion. 
Yeah, why not? That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Impaling victims instead of just shooting them. There must be some reason behind it. Classic psychological warfare. Looks like the gap made us do it. Okay, it seems headshots work. A little too well. All right. That was decent. Although that grenade going out. Damn it. No, undo. Yeah, what's the point of field boost and barrier? Especially like that. Um, unlock stasis, or should I throw four points into basic armor? Yes. Oh wow, each one has a custom helmet. I forgot about that. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay. Okay, next stop. Ooh. Lower sustain damage. And that's a mod too. It shows me a few more metrics of everything. Uh, common auto pistol. Fires in three round burst and has average, a average accuracy. Let's see. That's fine. I'll use it. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Oh my god, what is that? Okay. Auto pistols run out a little bit faster. Oh, okay, that's... Oops, wrong one. Wow. Yeah, um, auto pistols. Terrible. Oh yeah, and Shepard can equip basically anything. Turian? Why am I getting Turian armor? Well, there's the first biotic amp, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, allocate more points. Uh, why not? Unlocks electronics, but I want to put this into more stuff. There we go. Uh, Ashley, she has six points. Oh, she's just a normal soldier. There we go. Adrenaline burst. And shield boost, why not? Okay, so we have Turian armor. And the first biotic amp. Duration bonus. No extra cooldown, damn. Man, the Serta Foundation out here nerfing biotics. Also, 
Um, it's been a long time since I played the Mass Effect games, and even longer since I've actually played Mass Effect 1. This is completely different. I mean, it's not a bad minigame. Come on. There we go. Boo! Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Ugh. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head! It was only a matter of time till he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Wow, the door opening is very loud. Wait, was it both doors opening and closing at once? That is really dumb. And I'm gonna make a save. Oh, right before a cutscene. Saren. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Wow. Just wow. What is that? Off in the distance.
Okay, this is getting hairy. See the marker, where is he? Okay, it's just a single trooper. Oh, I should have shot those, shouldn't I? Okay, there's a crate, a door, an eyeless. Well, I'm gonna go for the crate and the door. Omni gel and one grenade. Um, let me actually check real quick. Do I have some things that I can actually equip to uh, Ashley? She wears medium armor, I think. She equips Storm. Avenger's better for her, and the Reaper is better. Okay, let's switch everyone up, except Gaiden. Switch her up to the Reaper. And now let's crack the door. Damn it. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Nobody moves a muscle until we know who you are. Nice going, Cole. I told you we should have stayed hidden. It's okay. We're all on the same side here. We're just farmers. We've been hiding ever since that ship first showed up. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise! It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You greedy bastard. You weren't running for your life. You were running to check on your merchandise. No, it's not like that. I just I just knew there were some packages here, something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Oh, I have both open to me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Think long and hard before you lie to me again. Are you sure all you've got is one lousy pistol? Uh... No, no wait. I just remembered. I, I just had it in my pocket. You might as well take that, too. That's everything, really. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. Would you rather be a snitch or a corpse? Powell. His name's Powell. No honor among thieves. That's all I know, really. So let's try to keep things friendly from here on in, okay? I have to go. Good luck. I only got plus four renegade from that. Uh, uh, so we got a stinger. Oh, is it? It's oh, it's different. Okay, but it's much higher damage and combat sensor improves detection. Why not? All right, let's go check Nihilus. 
I'm sure he's okay. Yeah, he seems fine. Fit as a fiddle. Commander, it's Nihilus. Except I'm going over here. Okay. I think this is a... That's the wrong button. In. Uh, yeah. Holy shit. Um, yeah, I'm gonna equip that right now. Yeah, he looks fine. Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! I like the way you hid behind those crates during the fight. Really helped us out. Thanks a lot. Me? But... But I'm just a dock worker. I don't even have a weapon. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What the hell are you talking about? There were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand over those grenades. Now. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. Too many people died here for you to start jerking me around. Okay, all right. Th there was something else. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I... I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work, then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do, run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. I just noticed his mouth is off center of his nose. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. All right, maximum items acquired. Whoops, wrong button. So, high explosive. Might as well equip it. Oh yeah, the tungsten rounds kicking ass here. Where'd he go? I pushed him off. Where'd he go? Okay, I think he's dead. Oh yeah, he is dead. There is no... 
There's nothing down there. Ooh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Someone's got... Oh, never mind. It's... Yes, that is the wrong spot for that to be in. There we go. Headshot's working. Anyone else? Whoops, that was my... I just turned my head a little too fast. Oh, I just noticed Caden is hurt. Like, hurt, hurt. Oh, wow, friendly fire is showing itself. Okay, auto-aim. Okay. Shit. I'm stuck. Okay, that was weird. One is on the ground, but they're taking cover. Aha, uh -huh. what if I just... Oh, I don't know. Well, it forced him to move, at least. I keep forgetting the B is actually the melee button. Okay. Now, let me just do a double check. And a squad check. Okay, Intimidate is now at... Ah. Wow, okay. A motivated buyer. Opens up new dialogue. Your skills will unlock when you become a specter. Interesting. Well, I've got to put start putting points into adept, so it's time to go. Also, I like how that just spoils a little plot point for later on. I'll probably cut that audio. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. For the classic disarm charges. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. One. Number two. Okay. Thanks, game. Oh, wait. Oh, this was the guy I was shooting before. He's a shock trooper.
Come on. Well. I gotta get over to the next one. There we go. Also, what am I doing? Huh. Good job, Shepard. You disarm that charge literally using your ass. That's hilarious. I'm a little busy here. No, you're not. Uh that's a sniper rifle and a AR. And I got okay, recovered items. Interesting. Okay. Ashley, let's see. So the Banshee's not an upgrade. But it is an upgrade over the Lancer. And the hammer isn't an upgrade. All right. Oh. Husks. Whoops. That's it. And there's a few things to gather while we're here. No rush at all. Is there anything over here? No. It used to be beautiful here. There is nothing here. Yeah, so insanity seems to be tough but fair. So far, at least. Damn it. Okay. There we go. Hurricane 2, Reaper, and Hammer. Okay. That's not bad. Also, there's a safe over there. You just barely see it. Tungsten round and improve lighting. Okay. Actually, see that. That is not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so, tungsten rounds and phasic rounds. What is improved sighting? Maximum accuracy. Eh. Not too good, but at least I got all the potential items from using Renegade or uh, Paragon checks. Uh, excuse me, game? Why? My god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. I've never seen a ship big enough to leave a landing imprint like that. Not in our fleet. Anyone else's. Yep. Okay, let's go touch it. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the Beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. 
This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Okay. Wow. This is getting interesting. Did I find anything of actual use? Oh, by the way, I had to re-record that. Um, whole segment. Due to the issue with uh, Ashley phasing into the ground, I'll probably splice that to make it look funny. But yeah, the game refused to continue after that point. So I just had to restart it. Ooh, random stuff that I don't even think Shepard can use. Edge. Yeah, it's got lower sustained damage. Uh, I'll stick, I'll stick with the stinger for now. And uh, unequip the mods. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? You're lucky, Commander. Your implants use the L3 configuration. Lieutenant Alenka has the older L2. Far more complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and... I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. Maybe you're right. Things went bad. Real bad. I still can't believe we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. There's something big coming. I don't want anyone messing it up. You read me, Lieutenant? Five by five, ma'am. Is there anything else before we head ashore? 
Any advice on how to act in front of an ambassador? I don't meet many politicians. An ambassador? I just follow standard operational procedure. Salute anything you can't eat or kill. Good luck, ma'am. Yeah. Alright, let's uh, talk to Ashley now. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. Thanks, Williams. I needed to hear that. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine. Thanks, Commander. Okay, let's see. How far up is my renegade? Okay, we, we have access to five in Intimidate. And hold on, hold on. I think taking this elevator takes us down to where the lockers are? Let's see. Yes, it takes us down to where the lockers are and where this guy is. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, man. Yeah, look at the cost. But what I'm here for is this guy. The black market license. Now this, as you can see, adds uh, gear from Batarian State Arms, Cerberus Skunk Works, Han Kedar, uh, Shadow Works, and Jormungan Technology. These were previously, um, what was it, game file brands and weapons. They all had unique um, aspects about them. And I have a mod that allows me to both enable and revoke, or give and revoke, I should say, this license. So now these things will be spawning more often and might even pop up in his store, who knows? Now, uh, let's see, what can I equip Caden with? Give him the edge. And Ashley, well, I think I'll just keep her with up-to-date assault rifles, shotguns, and snipers. So let's give her a new shotgun. Doesn't really need pistols per se. And we go up.
What's with all the stairs? And then here's the comm link room. All right. Oh, and this goes down. Okay. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the road. Nav manual. Got me XP. Okay, Shepard's profile. Statistics. Interesting. Military jargon. Oh man, that's that's actually funny. N7. Interesting. Oh, they had a long timeline, huh? 2154. What is the current year? 2183. So. Something like just under 20 years or something like that. Or just over. My on the fly math does not work. Alright, let's uh, dock, I guess. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Tower, please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. They won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. 
Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Eh. Eh, tell me about it. Let's see, let's see. Alliance Patrol Report. The unusual energy readings during a patrol of Argos Rio in the Hydra system. Interesting. I think that's a side mission, right? Ooh, where's this go? I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. Yeah. This is. All right. Let's. What was that? Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Oh. Okay. It's telling me to go here. That was loud. Also, they're unavailable, so I gotta figure it out myself. Okay, this is away. I think it's this way, right? Um. Yeah, this way. Actually, is there a map function? There is. Okay, embassies. This is running horrendously. And one of the first ones... One of the first uh, stores we can go into. Sadly, I don't have... Actually, I've got stuff to sell. I have plenty of stuff to sell that I don't want to render... Um, Omnigel for right now. Also, I didn't know Elcor had a walking animation. Emporium Shopkeep. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What is that? A shop. Many wonderful items for sale. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, I completely forgot. Oh, I'm getting that for 100%. Show me your items. Let's see, is there... There is not. Interesting. There isn't any... Uh... Show me your items. Let's see, view upgrades. Interesting. I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly. Wow, so I got the Serta Foundation stuff. Commander. Show me your the items. license for the Serta Foundation. Oh, this one. I didn't actually give it a good look. So we've got... Wow. Uh, we've only got one human light armor. But everything else is human heavy. Actually, good. But now I've got to go into equipment and mark a lot of this as... Junk. I should keep the most powerful version of all of these or any other character that can use them. Also, not even going to bother equipping that amp. Yeah, the Show basic one being so much better.
That didn't get me too much money, but eh, it's fine. And the marker's telling me to take the rapid transit. It's not going to allow me to. So, yeah, I think it's back over here. And then where? Off to the left, is it? And then down further? Can I go further than this? Keeper. Huh? Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, I remember Avena. Yeah. People hate this. What is it called? A VI? I also realize some of the shadows are weirdly broken, but that happens when you mod this game because you've got to mess with the files directly. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like he came up empty. Saren's a Spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Interesting. I have a feeling we'll see him again. Also, why can I... interact with a diplomat? Humans in the tower. Interesting. Try not to break anything. I just realized that there are female... Uh, you should try the human ambassador if you have questions. Oh, uh, this is part of the diversification project. So, yeah. Also, what is Shepard staring at? This was... That was really weird. Oh, and there's the rapid transit. And now I can actually use it from here. Alright. So that's... That's good. We're in a story location. It'll actually allow me to use it. And now for five minutes of talking. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. 
The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. CSEC is better off without him. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Commander Shepard be like, I should go. Okay. Oh, what? What are those cherry trees? Che cherry trees. Oh, uh, man. I think they're trying to be cherry blossoms. 
I don't know how that would work. Now he said... I think it's in the journal. Garrus. The Shadow Broker. And the overall mission of Expose Saren. So, uh... Yeah, I think I'll do Garrus's. So I have to find out how to get into the wards. And all the way down there, because the fast travel system does not open up that um, off the rip. So I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yeah, and I hate elevators. I think I'm gonna take steps to avoid them. What is this guy doing? That guy's up to something. Please do not disturb the keepers. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Okay, and with that, each one of these keepers is now marked. So I'll scan a few of them now and come back later. Because, um... What was that? Oh, it's those guys. Okay. Okay, there's the wards. So, so f Wards. Okay. Shores, Dan, Flux, the market. All right. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Maybe I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the geth on their synthetic asses gets rid of my headaches. Also, the elevator music. Wow, also, what is it? That's a locked door. Okay. Okay, that looked a little weird. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. Oh, there's a keeper. Okay. T dash E G E. I don't know what that means. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. 
Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right, and what's over here? Oh. A keeper. Dash I U dash E. Wow. Fake place. That your professional opinion, sir? How can they keep tabs on all of this? The Presidium may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. I just noticed I messed up bad with, um, <laughs> with, uh, Shepard's complexion. And then it's kind of okay. That's weird. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Nope. I need to go to the markets. Let's see, let's see. Expat. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one to Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. I think I'll be going. Whoops. As you say, Earth Clan, good day to you. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Okay, well, I'm mostly just looking for licenses, and that's actually really good. L Cos. And there's Conrad. Is that really. Nope. Wow! It's you! Oh, it's you! No, I'm going. This way. Oop. Moreland's shop. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh, yeah, the iconic armors. This adds the... Basic versions of every... Uh, armor, but also upgrades them over time. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. Let's see, let's see. Medigel upgrade and a license. Yeah, why not? Uh, let's see what this does. Words, locations. Damn, so I have to I have to interact with each one of these. Okay, but this goes to the core's den. Okay. Hello. Didn't expect this. Now it gets fun. Get down! Okay, humanoid. I guess we're on the right track. Okay, humanoids. Very hard to deal with. 
Okay, let's slap some Intimidate in there. And get pistols unlocked. There we go. I want stasis and at some point singularity, but that's for later. What? Did... That is head. Hold on, photo mode. No, that's his arm. That is his arm. Okay, let's talk to Arkin. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Okay. Well, I'm here for Arkin. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Because I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Arkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. Wow, not only has he got in trouble with CSAC, he's a complete sleaze bag. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, Princess. Call me Princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. One more chance. Tell me where Garrus is. Now. Okay, settle down. I went to speak to Dr. Michelle, over in the med clinic on the other side of the wards. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. I got business here, but not with you. <laughs> okay, game. Game literally went, here's an open seat. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a specter? Maybe it's not true. Parkin's an ass. Maybe he's just messing with the kids. Huddle up! Redeploying. Okay. What the hell are those things? They kind of seem like trains, but wow. That's such a steep angle. Um, oh, okay, med clinic. And this takes us to market and Chora's Den. All right. Let's take the fast track. Should be right inside. Ooh. E L dash dash U. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Finally, some
Okay, he's rushing. Okay. Yep. Think we're good, Commander. Tough but fair really fits this one, huh? A lot of traffic here. How fast do you think those cars? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Feast. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. I'm gonna go get Rex real quick. Oh, okay, is it Presidium? Words access, embassies, financial district, Citadel Tower. Um I actually have no idea. So let's try the embassies. I want to get uh, Rex in on this. Now let's check the map. Embassy Lounge, CSEC HQ, Olis and Elcor office, Udina's office, Consort Emporium, The Bank, Citadel Tower, Wards. Damn. Um, I actually don't know. So let's try the words again. Or is Den? I accidentally hit that by accident. Damn it. Oh, well, put us right here. We're good. Lower markets, door control. Where does this go? Up through here. Okay, that is a loop back around. How do I get to the CSEC Academy? Oh, wait, I remember seeing things uh, near the embassies. And also, if I remember correctly, the CSEC Academy has a person I can buy stuff from, but I'm not sure. But first, Rex, where was it? There it is. Nope. Yeah, here it is. Sec Academy, this one. 
A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Oh no. Let's see, where is good old Rex? There he is. Also, where does this go? Oh, to the docking bay. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Okay. And, uh, I think this is the way my squad will have to work for a while, because I need someone with, uh, combat skills. And someone with a handful of tech skills. Also, I have to... Ooh, tactical armor. Allows him to equip medium armor. Well, he's equipping light armor at the moment. Okay. Get dampening. Boost assault rifles and tack armor. And then the last point's there. Because why not? Combat armor, and he unlocks fitness. Well, he's going to be the best one for overall combat role. Why not? Bit of an uneven mix, but it'll have Binary to work. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. And we've got a fight ahead of us. Whoa, I just got so turned around for a second there. Okay, no one's here. I might want to save. Just because. Not because I might end up messing this up royally, and there's a lot of enemies. Look out! I'm on it! Okay, I might want to boost my barrier. Barrier dropped. Wow, they use. Wow, I hate it. <laughs> hey, 
There we go. Uh, I should have also checked. Okay, we got Gladiator. Uh, better, but yeah, the protections are just gone. That's not cool. Uh, what was it? I can't remember what mod it was, but I don't have it anymore. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! Oh. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. Huh. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. That's true enough. Also, the audio seems weirdly low in some places. Ooh. Weapon locker. Okay, striker two. What is that? Is that the same thing? No, it's stinger. Oh, it's the same thing that I found the first time, except level two. Wow, okay, I might have to use my barrier. Go, go, go! Enemy is everywhere! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Yep, plus two Renegade for some reason. Oh, oh wait. Save. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Lost in three minutes. Oh, and we have enemies here. This is a first. Oh, because she's such a short distance away. I realize it now. Uh, barrier. Whoop. Nope. Warp. Get down. Yep, don't need him. We got them all, Shepard. Yep, we did. Oh, and I picked up a couple of items. Proton. That is the wrong thing. Proton. Proton rounds. Shield bypass, but the Damage reduction is actually slightly lower. Hammerhead rounds is an interesting one. Come on. Man, if Shepard could actually move as fast as they did in the original. Also, I have to make sure. Is this actually on insanity? It is. Kind of weird. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Enemy sighted. 
out. Okay. Okay, one of them hit me with dampening. Damn. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. What kind of evidence did you find? How'd you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, 
Those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay. And now Garrus and... Ali are the ones that I'll be taking. Yeah, do I still have the journal for Bar Levon? I don't. Interesting. Liver OSD. Interesting. Let me scan a few more of these guys. And then we'll move on to handing over all the evidence. Now, how do I get to that one? Oh, hello. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? I'm probably going to have to hold off on that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was weird. Uh, wards. Um. Hmm. Markets. Let's see how much. Oh, there we go. Armor plating. How much money do I have? 661. Yeah, that's. That's not good. Alright. So she's proficient in shotguns and pistols. Interesting. Okay, Garrus is good with decryption and electronics, and so is Tali. Um, actually, do I have any points? None that I can throw in for some reason. I'm gonna guess that's a class thing, right? Okay, just gonna give Tali all of the basic stuff here. Wind does that. Okay, it's fine. But into decryption. Oh wow, that's that's Garrus's helmet. I can't toggle the helmet on Tali. Let me check some stuff out. What is this guy? Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you show me what you've got? Let's see, let's see. Metagel upgrade edge. To assassin. Well, I can't even afford it. So let's sell off. Okay, upgrades are the way to go. And upgraded weapons are also another way to go. Or just some general upgrades. So. Wow, yeah, selling upgrades is wild. Mm. Whoops. Welcome back, Earth Club. Show me what you wanted to get and compare. Oh, it actually has no no upgrade at all. Wow. It is just barely better. Alright, let's go to Morlin. Or Marlin? No, Morlin, okay. 
Hold on, was there something else here that I thought I saw? I guess not. Hello there, welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You... Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Let's see. The oh, striker. Krogan heavy armor. No pistols. Not much at all. Okay. Time to go. A citadel tower. Oh, let me scan all of the... Uh, yeah, let's scan all of the general keepers in this area. Okay. EGBH dash. That's one for the area. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be. Yerps. Yeah, that's definitely a uh, Yerps moment. Or one more further to the south here, toward the elevator. Nope. There's one here, and then there's one really friggin' close. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Acid. That is an acid moment. No. I um, just want to ask a couple. I guess we'll talk to him. Commander. I'm just waiting for ah. someone, Commander. I'm just waiting for someone, Commander. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the Conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. 
I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre training unlocked. Here we go. Garrus with all the awing again. UA dash RF. That the last one. Yes, it is. For the Citadel Tower, that is the last one. Can I talk to him now? I can. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre, Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Sorry, I don't think we've met. My name is Admiral Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. I have to go, Admiral. Commander. Oh, okay. So minor introduction for right now. Okay, I think he has a mission for us. Uh, whenever we we return in like the second half of the game, all right. Seasack. Here we are now. Is it here? Yes, there is one here. A S N E dash. And let's see the rec officer. I think this is the first time I'm talking to him. One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard, here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you know who I am? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? 
Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, ho, 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 my God. Wow. Okay, is there Spectre light armor? Yes, but it's worth a whopping five grand. How does that compare? Oh, this one's all in on shields. But the normal Spectre stuff is all in in a uh, fairly balanced kind of one. Wow. Yeah. And we can buy amps, grenade upgrades. I'll grab that and the license. Let me sell anything I have a duplicate for at the moment. Uh, I don't need those. Proton two rounds might be useful. And I don't particularly need the uh, combat sensor. Is there a pistol I can buy? Yes. This would actually be better. However, I am poor. I do not have enough money for that. Well, it's good to know. I think that opens up. I'm actually not sure now. I think that opens up for... Um, our, our requisition guys? Our guy on... Ooh, what? Okay, the radio. Or not the radio, the, the, the elevator tune. Alright, what is our thing now? Oh, wait. You have to dump some of these. Wait. Spectre training. Unity. Okay, so that's how we revive our down teammates. Okay. Pop some points in there. Then I'm going to have to start dumping points into Adept and... Uh, Warp. Oh, and I could have gotten Marksman. Yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. Yep. Okay, to the docking bay. What is the... Whoops. Uh, speak to the ambassador. Whoops. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay, wards? No. Obsidium. There we go. Embassies. I guess I'm gonna have to talk to Samesh. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Okay. Oh, and I can go up to... In here, I think to the left is the guy that, or the area that the uh, Samesh tells me to go. But there is this guy, dash, ooh, dash A U L dash. Oh, yeah, in here. Oh, there he is, Clerk Bosker. And then there's this keeper. Uh, let's see. Map, 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 map. There's Bosker. Then there's only... Two, three? Three. 
Three to get. This place seems strange. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Ooh, I have both choices here. You know who and what I am. If I want Nirali Bhatia, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Even if the body were here on the Citadel, would you really risk going in shooting to get it? The Marine's name was Nirali Bhatia. If you want to cut her up, you call her by name. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yep. Very harsh, but it got the damn point across. Alright. Let's give him the good news. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. All right, let's go talk to Udina. Was he not here? Nope. Oh, whoops. Oh, he's in the docking bay. Okay, I thought I was supposed to come back here. Never mind. Well, at least I got uh, Samish's quest out of the way, or his mission. It was simply talking to people, but that's fine. Wow. Uh, docking bay, okay. There is literally just a quick way to get there. All right. Okay, I thought I walked into a cutscene. That was particularly bad. Also, there is one keeper here, so I was just slightly wrong. L dash dash E U. But if you're wondering why the ship seems so weird. Uh, these are mimicking Mass Effect 3's uh, versions. Oh, I have to go back. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Okay, yeah, I messed up just a little bit. I was supposed to come up through the elevator. In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. 
What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Yes, Commander? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. Wow. We'll also inspect Normandy's hull. That added codex. The Normandy is amazing, Shepard. It's an honor to be among her crew. Ooh. 
fancy docking port. Okay, let's go. Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. Listen up, Normandy. This is your Commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, I think I'll start talking to the crew, because why not? Um, hmm. Where does every, everyone go? Okay, there's Caden. Sleeper pods, okay. So Caden's here. I think Ashley is in the bottom area, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Or really the um, garage. Okay, there's Garris. There's a lot of people down here. Ashley, Garrus, Rex. Okay, let's talk to Garrus. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSAC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSAC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. All right, let's talk to our requisitions officer. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Let's see. Okay, it does add the Spectre gear to his inventory. Let's see. Level 3 Kessler. Not even nearly as good as the Stinger 2. Is this armor? It is. Revoke black market license, and it's there twice for some reason. Oh yeah, it has a chance of appearing. I forgot about that. 
Scorpion 4. That is actually pretty impressive. Wish there were more pistols here. Guess I'm gonna have to wait. Oh, the Edge 2 is better. Hmm. Also the Unity Amp. Sort of foundation. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Rex. Also, why did... Why did, um, Shepard just do a, a small jump? Nice ship you've got, Shepard. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah, they tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Everyone. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard. Very interesting. So let's uh, see real quick. Okay, everybody's basic loadouts are kind of crap. I'm going to have to change that. Ooh. Engineer Adams. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on the vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. 
Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. I want to know more about the Geth. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in a group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. 
It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. That doesn't make any sense. I'm probably oversimplifying. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creations. All you need to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. You didn't really think they'd just let you destroy them without a fight, did you? The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exiled, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. It's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being okay. who's ever tried to contact them? They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. I can't believe they just send you off alone. It's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla, and given gifts to help us on our journey. We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune systems weaker than most. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all Quarians. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of the fleet's captains. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? That doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. 
want to talk about something else. Like what? I should go. See you later. Very interesting. All right, let's leave the Citadel. station. I'll probably do that in the late game. Hmm. Novaria, Pharos. Hmm. No, wasn't there... Hold on. We're going to be doing something. To investigate the Hydra system in the Argos Row Cluster. The Argos Row Cluster. Oh, there we go. Hydra. Yeah, let's go. Two heat hazard, okay. Let's go. And here's one of the first missions with the Mako. Okay, whoops, nope. Debris, anomaly, thorium deposit, mercury deposit. Yeah, let me see. Um, okay, right trigger. Little machine gun, LB or RB. RB is boost. L LB is boost. RB is cannon. Okay. How would I go about leaving the thing? Why? Start, no, back, A, no. Whoops. Oh wait, it's right here. 
How would I go about? No, B. No, it's B. Survey. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. And we get money for it. There's the wreckage. The signal must be coming from there. Careful, Shepard. Yes! It's a trap! Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Just run it over. Oh my god, I'll level up. Oh man, yeah, that was awful. I'm on my way. Wow. Okay, that was loud. Well, time to go grab everything else then. There we go. Some money. Now to the debris. Yeah, and my hardware hates this. Crashed pod, salvage. Electronic skill too low. Whoops. I bought the wrong pair of people on board for this. Well, it looks like I'm going back onto the Normandy. Yep. And I'm gonna have um, Joker drop us off again and I'll take Tally. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> I've completely forgot that I needed uh, Garrus and Tali. Okay, we're back with Tali this time. Let's see, can I actually salvage this? Okay. Oh, yep. Son of a bitch. Yep. Just gonna bypass it. <laughs> it wasn't that much. Alright. Yeah, that sucked. I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, Spectre training and then the rest into Adept. Also, wow, you can actually just keep getting more charm and whatnot. Um, yeah, damping. And that's about it. Where do I go next? Yeah, so this. No. There we go. All right. On to the anomaly, and then that'll be it for here. Oh, oh, oh. Almost. 
Oh wow. Cover me. Recover artifact, okay. Marian insignia recovered while searching the wreckage you found a very old letter with the Gothis colony insignia. Unfortunately the text is indecipherable. Interesting. Is that it? Yep, knocked everything off, and you technically can never knock off the uh, transponder signal uh, due to the fact that it's tied to the um, journal mission. Oh my god, the performance is bad in this thing. Alright, let's get out. Nope, get out of there. There we go. Um, let's see what else the journal has. Eros, Geth, and find Liara. One of 13 Turian emblems. Interesting. Also find valuables. Let me see, what did I get from that one? I think it was an armor upgrade, right? Yeah, motorized joints. The most useless upgrade. All right. Yeah. Oh, whoops, I thought exit meant get away from the planet. Okay, zoom out. Nope. Nothing else here. And then Pinnacle Station would be way over there. Um. Yeah, why not? Let's go after Liara's uh, dig site here. Um. I think it's that one. At this one. Found a large amount of oxygen. Large concentration of helium three. Interesting. Turian Insignia recovered. Okay. That's two. Let's go to... Macedon. I don't actually know how you would pronounce that. Survey. Matriarch's Writings. That's the first one. Oh, this one has... Okay. That one's where Tali is. Oh, God. Okay, last one to survey. Large concentration of Xenon. This is where... Yeah, it says land. This is where... Um, um, Liara is, I think. So let's knock this one off the list. So Garrus and Tali. Wait. It isn't. Okay. Okay. Uranium, magnesium, debris. Okay, this isn't where Liara is. I was wrong. I'm still gonna do it. Probably gonna do a hypercut.
This one has way better performance than that other one. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, survey. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, money. Also, I have six grand now. I'm going to guess that's from surveying the other planets. Um. Yeah, why not go around in a counterclockwise? Wait. It's a pretty open area. This seems kind of suspicious. Hmm. Salvage. Oh, okay. First aid recoil damper. That is not bad. Next one. lot of enemies over in this direction. Could I be going over here? And boop, just hit your off button. Okay, this is interesting. Oh my god, it's some irate pirates. Hmm, nobody else, and I can go in here. Hold on. What the hell happened? Okay, let's see. Let's see what nightmares await. There's a lot of markers. Just lead the way.
Oh, shit. Okay, let's make sure. I have no grenades. Okay, that was a bad one. Okay, wow. Um, I think I may have gotten myself into a bear gall. Okay, yep. Uh, sabotage. In case it gets up. It seems the AI is just a little bit dumb. Get one more. She's also shooting a wall. Uh huh. Oh. Okay, I forgot. She's actually immune. And she was immune to biotics for a second there. Thank you, Garrus. All right, wow, Garrus actually saved my ass. Oh, wow. Although I did take a hit. Metagel deployed. Oh, I can't get in here. Well, decryption too low. Oh, Nasana or Nasana. Return to the Presidium and confront her. Well, I can't get the stuff here. I actually went just looking for things. Okay, let's see. So, decryption, I think, has to be... Or was it electronics? Hold on. The decryption too low. So you're telling me it has to be higher than five. Wow, I guess I'm not coming back here then. I've not played these games in a very long time. So, yeah, that just completely escaped me. Also a door here. Okay, medical station. Oh. Okay, that's more worth it. That's more worthwhile. That's for sure. Also, Phoenix 2, which is worse. Wow. Wow. Hold on, did I get any other weapons for him? Yes, I did. Of 
Whoops. I do have a bunch of modifications now, though. Alright, let's move on. The hardened, uh, locked stuff. I would definitely want, but, yeah. It's not quite worth it. The next one, a deposit and an anomaly. Here we are. Done. Now on to the anomaly just next door. And Explorer 2. A sorry capsule. Oh great, it's one of these. There we go. Matriarch's writing. Okay. Appears to have been abandoned some time ago. Yeah, it's another one. And then the last one, the uranium deposit, which I think will be worth a lot more. Almost there. Got to go up a little bit more. Oop. And here we are. Securing point. Oh my god, it's uranium fever. What? That isn't even worth that much. Alright, time to go. And I'll go into the third system. However, now that now that we're here, I'm actually going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these to three to four hour parts. So hopefully I can try to keep it that consistent. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, sign notifications to all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.